If you're a fisherman, 2024 is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I'm not exaggerating, we're speaking hyperbolically. What's happening right now hasn't happened since 1803 and won't happen again until 2245. I'm talking about a cicada swarm that is so massive, it promises to drop billions, maybe even up to a trillion individual insects all over the mid, south, and southeast of this country. We are talking biblical proportions here. Massive amounts of bugs, and this is what they sound like. This is the sound of the 2024 Cicada Super Bloom. It's gotta be three X as loud as it normally is. So why is this happening? Why are apocalyptic numbers of cicadas going to descend on this country right now? The answer are periodical broods. Most cicadas are annual emergers. They happen every year, fairly predictable in reasonable numbers. Certain broods of cicada are periodical. They happen every 13 or 17 years at a variable pace. This year, we are going to get the confluence of all three, our normal annual cicadas, a 17 year brood, and a 13 year brood, all overlapping at the exact same time. Brood X I I I. 13, for those of us who are used to real numbers, is a 17 year periodical. And it's emerging, has emerged, is out in the wild right now. Brood XIX, or 19, is a 13 year periodical. It emerges mainly in Georgia and then covers most of the Southeast. To have these two things happen at the exact same time, to have this overlap, is rarer than Halley's Comet. More bugs means more fish food. How do you take advantage? If you fly fish, the answer might seem a little obvious. Go out a little bit later, get there just before the bugs start singing their song, and fish a big, nasty terrestrial. We're talking legs. One that has been very effective is the good old chubby Chernobyl. Stock that up in your fly box. Now, if you're a bass fisherman, you are not out of luck. This is going to be an opportunity for the bass as well. Same basic principle applies. Go out a little bit later, as the sun is starting to lower, you're gonna hear those bugs in the trees. Fish those overhanging branches. That's where they're gonna drop out of and hit the water. Fish something roughly the same size on top water. Poppers, walkers, these types of things are going to be the way to go. You have an opportunity to do something that no one in your lifetime and no one after you is going to have the opportunity to do. This isn't going to happen for a very long time. Like I mentioned before, not again until 2245. Now I have a list in front of me of some bodies of water and the states in which they reside that are probably going to be prime for this massive cicada apocalypse. I'm just gonna go through them. In Arkansas, looking at the White River, Bull Shoals, Bull Shoals Lake, and the Little Red River. In Missouri, Lake Tanicomo, the Mississippi River, Missouri River, and Lake of the Ozarks. In Georgia, my home state, the Chattahoochee River, and they're already there, boys. Lake Lanier, the Savannah River, and Carter's Lake up in Blue Ridge. North Carolina, get out into the Nantahala Wilderness. South Carolina, Lake Kiowee, there's gonna be a few more as well. <clears throat> Tennessee, Lake Barkley, Cumberland River, Kentucky Lake, and the Hiawassee. Illinois, hit Carlisle, Wabash River, Lake Shelbyville, Grass Lake, and Coffeen Lake. In Kentucky, get out to the Ohio River and the Tennessee River. Boys, this 
promises to be an amazing time. I hope you get out there and I hope you absolutely kill it.